My name is Domagoj Hruška. I'm a full professor at the Department of Organization and Management here at University of Zagreb, Faculty of Economics and Business, uh, who is hosting the BIP program. The name of the program is Good Governance, how resilience leads to successful organizations. When we talk about governance, we are not talking only about governance of uh, countries or even companies, but governance of all kinds of organizations. And uh, as we know, organizations are all around us. Uh, they include our families, our friendships, also companies in which we work in, or also European Union. So we have students from several countries, from Latin America and from Europe. And uh, this intercultural kind of cooperation brings a lot of good things for the students. They form certain friendships, they can test their ideas in different value structures, value contexts. It was my pleasure to host Blended Intensive program here at our faculty last week as a part of our international activities. This Blended Intensive program was organized and realized as the result of the Erasmus Plus project Teragov that was coordinated by the University of Iceland and finished last year very successfully. During that project, we realized that our cooperation within the consortium was so fruitful and we decided to apply for Blended Intensive Program within Erasmus Plus scheme. Erasmus Plus Blended Intensive Program supports physical and blended mobility of higher education students in any study field and cycle. While long-term physical mobility is strongly encouraged by the Erasmus Plus program, this action recognized the need to offer more flexible physical mobility duration to ensure the program is accessible to students from all background circumstances and study fields. As one of the results of the project, they worked closely together in six teams, producing a piece of public policy for the region of European Union. We play the simulation game where they are supposed to be in a role of a mayor, considering different policy and budget aspects, so they could have that first-hand experience in a simulation game. The outcome of both the project and the game was amazing, since they had great ideas, great insights in some practical problems of running a small town. It was a very productive uh, week in which we debated such uh, crucial topics like uh, resilience, governance and leadership. I think the opportunities that we were offered were uh, diverse uh, and uh, it offered a good uh, place for uh, cooperation between peers from uh, different uh, places of the world. It's been amazing, we've learned about resilience, we've learned about gender inequality and we've been on trips, we've discovered this beautiful city. This was a, a great experience, uh, not only because of the things we learned, uh, but more because we met people from uh, other countries. Had a lot of fun activities, going to a greenhouse, going to CSAC, learning a lot about Croatia and about good governance in general. The lectors and the professor were at first level, so we really appreciate in name of all the Spanish team that um, enjoyed this week here in Zagreb. What is maybe the highlight of the intensive program were field trips that we had. We wanted to give an overreaching idea to the students what is it governance in different contexts. We had discussion about governance in regulators and we had a visit in this respect to Croatian National Bank. Prezentirali smo temu upravljanje u hrvatskim bankama, supervizija internog upravljanja u hrvatskim bankama. Prezentirali smo u stvari koncept cijelokupne bankovne supervizije i kako se upravljanje ljudima uključuje u, to, u cijelokupni koncept bankovne supervizije. Then we had discussion about important governance in private sector, especially in cooperatives meaning partnerships, which uh, has a specific kind of set of rules that need to be met to ensure the long-term prosperity of such organization. We visited the city of Sisak and visited one agriculture cooperative called Hortico, who works in production of tomatoes in greenhouses. 
So this was kind of an interesting experience when they were able to check out uh, the production also, which is by itself quite interesting process, uh, and also managed to, let's say, get some insights about how it is to work on a professional level in a partnership, uh, you know, where there is not strict lines of control and where relations are more based on uh, reciprocity and trust than on hierarchy. A third aspect of our field trips was visit to the city of Sisak, meeting and the lecture of the mayor of the city. Je zadovoljstvo danas sa studentima iz Rumunjske i Španjolske raspravljati o tome na koji način i koliko kvalitetno se grad Sisak suočio sa svim izazovima koji su bili ispred nas. Tijekom svih elementarnih nepogoda, naravno najviše ih je zanimao dio oko potresa koji nas sada već evo, tri godine nas dijelio tog iskustva, ali posljedice i dan, dan danas osjećamo. I naravno najzanimljiviji dio je bila onaj dio sa njihovim pitanjima iza i raspravom, iz čega sam iščitala da ne samo da im je bilo zanimljivo, nego da su zapravo i dobro upućeni u situaciju u Hrvatskoj. We were very fortunate to be able to include two very good prestige institutions, Compuensa from Madrid and Bucharest University of Economic Studies from Bucharest, which are leading institutions in their countries, Spain and uh, Romania uh, respectively. And we have all together nine teachers uh, in the program covering their own uh, specific topics from governance. Erasmus is about uh, diversity and uh, discovering uh, the world. As for my presentation, it was about uh, good governance and uh, sustainable uh, development. Uh, I also uh, asked the students uh, to participate in an exercise uh, and uh, to explain, to describe uh, how uh, their uh, university uh, achieves the SDGs. I am uh, participated in this blended intensive course with a lecture about public-private partnerships. Um, I think it's a good issue in, uh, in the times where we are living. We know that uh, most of the public services are provided through this kind of uh, public-private cooperation. It was uh, interesting enough to wonder about the proceedings of these experiences, uh, about the consequences uh, uh, they have for the users of public services and the consequences for democracy in, in general. I had the opportunity to teach students about remote work and especially the impact of the recent crisis on remote work and I try to relate it with the topic of governance because governance is a very broad topic and of course can uh, be manifested in many uh, different fields. I came here to teach about gender policies and uh, resilience and uh, I liked that the students considered this uh, topic very important and they liked it and put me a lot of um, uh, questions. This is my area of interest, in fact, gender policy, leadership and uh, resilience and for me it was a good opportunity to present what I <laughs> really like uh, uh, to do. My lecture here was on uh, public governance. I come from a department of political science. So we deal with governance from the point of view of uh, government, state, and the shift that governance uh, means for, for, the, for the government style. So that, that, that is what I try to emphasize. I think that I had very good questions uh, from the students. It was uh, quite surprising to me that uh, how motivated they were. I'm a part of Croatian team and uh, my topic was resilience and crisis in management of non-profits, a case study of Mary's Meals. This project was excellent experience for us professors as well as uh, students. Uh, we exchange ideas, opinions and we discuss a lot. And I think it would be an excellent example for some new future project for all of us. This was the first big program in our school, one of the first at University of Zagreb. 
And uh, I would like to thank uh, all the people who were involved in this, especially professors, also the students, all the staff who help us, and I hope that some of the friendships that took place in this uh, program will carry on and to have a good cooperation and benefits from this event in Zagreb.